Well, hi there. We're going to be doing the magic pool stitch. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's a stitch video, but I'll give you everything you need uh, so that you could do a project if you want. This stitch works good, flat panel or in the round. It's a really good stitch for blankets, shawls, hats, scarves, um, just about anything. It's tight enough for most things, although it, it, uh, it can be tighter with a thicker yarn and it can be lacier if you have a really thin yarn and it still looks good. So it depends how you want it. The other side looks like this. It still looks pretty darn attractive. And um, I'll do a close-up. You can see what this stitch looks like. There it is. Very nice stitch. It has texture to it. Very easy to do. Beginner friendly. Um, it's good for, for anybody. You don't need any pearls. I didn't use any pearls in it. It doesn't curl. So I'm making a shawl, so I used a lot of pegs, but you can use as many pegs as you want, depending on what you're making. I think I used 22 pegs here. And um, I've got two end pegs that get worked together. So I marked this one with a stitch marker, and that one's white. And then over here, I've got two marked with the stitch markers. So two end pegs on either side. It can be even or odd pegs. It doesn't matter with the stitch. Um, it's a Cindy Wood loom. Um, it's a custom one I got made. It's a three quarter inch with 39 pegs. Um, normally um, this size has 40 pegs, but I wanted odd for when I want to do an odd pattern. And so here's a reminder for you that Cindy Wood Looms will make you custom looms. They don't charge very much for doing it. And um, you can get anything you basically want. Just contact them and see what they can do for you. Okay. And the yarn I'm using is Estelle Atlantis. This is it. And the color is Forest Dew. It's blues and greens, and it has a few other colors in it, too. And it is 54% superwash wool, 42% acrylic, 2% nylon, and 2% metallic. And it has the metallic shine in it. I don't know if you can see it very much on the camera. Okay, so that's yarn. And it's a bulky. Okay, so I've got it in the bag. Get some yarn out and we can get started. Oh, my loom hook. A lot of people are going to ask me about this loom hook. I, I had a company that made me these loom hooks, but they don't make them anymore. But you can get similar ones on Etsy. Okay, now the cast on I did is the chain cast on can see it here. It just makes a really nice cast on. And I have, I will link it in the description. So you just have to scroll down and you will be able to see the link and it'll take you to this cast on. Then I did two rows of owl eye. And if you don't know how to do owl eye, I have plenty of videos on my channel. To show you how to do it. I did the two rows of owl eye to keep it from curling and then I'm also doing an owl eye border. It doesn't really curl very much at all so it doesn't need very much so that's all I had to do. Okay so that's a two row pattern. So we'll get started into one of the rows. Okay so what we do here is we have two stitches. The first stitch I'm going to do is my magic twist stitch. It's on my channel too. It's pretty easy. You go over into a U-wrap and knit it off. Same peg. Go behind in front in another U-wrap. Knit it over. Keep it loose. Keep it loose. And then one more time. So three times, that's three stitches on a peg. Next one, 
one, two, three. Very, very easy. If you get too tight, you can loosen it up at any time. You can just pull this and that will loosen it up. Okay. So you can loosen it up at any time if you get too tight. So we just go all the way to the end just doing this stitch. So it's a U-wrap. Then you wrap around and in front and do another U-wrap around from the back and in front. Another U-wrap. Just three U-wraps. One, two, three. And you're winding the same direction for every one of the U-wraps in this stitch. And when we do the other stitch, we're winding in a different way. So, um, but this one is just like this. And it's the magic twist stitch if you want to go and look at it and see what it looks like alone. It's on my YouTube channel. And it makes a different stitch when you combine it with this one. And you can just whip along. Remember you're putting three stitches on the peg. So that's like doing three rows. So this grows very, very quickly. Every once in a while I do a challenging stitch. But mostly I like nice easy stitches that look good. So I do my best to figure out ways to make stitches that will be super easy to do and still have some texture, some, some cool look to them. Okay, now we're coming up to the two peg border. Now how we do that is we go over the first peg in a U-wrap we come back around and go over both of them in a U-wrap, keeping it loose. And pull it out to make sure you're keeping it loose if you have to. Then we're going to come back over, making sure that's loose. And knit them off. And then we come back around and do one more stitch on this peg. Okay, now we're ready to start on the next stitch. The next stitch is Roses and Chains. That's also on my channel. So you can look at that stitch and see what it looks like if you want to do it alone or look at it more. So we're going to go into a U-wrap to do that one. U-wrap. Now we do a U-wrap the opposite direction. And then we come back this direction again. That's all it is. Very, very easy. You wrap, you wrap the wrong way, you wrap the right way again. Okay, you wrap, you wrap the wrong way, you wrap the right way again. You wrap, you wrap the wrong way, you wrap the right way again. Okay, you wrap, you wrap the wrong way. You wrap the right way again. Okay, that's all there is to it. Very, very easy stitch. Okay, so I'm just going to put you on pause while I go to the end of the row because you're just going to see me doing this stitch again and again now till we get to the end. And by now you should know what it looks like, so it's going to get a little boring. So we'll see you in a few. Okay, we're closer now to the end of the row. So you wrap, you wrap the opposite way, you wrap the right way again. And that's chains and roses stitch. Okay, and then we finish that wrap. We come over here 
we do the U-wrap. We U-wrap both of them nice and loose. We come back, making sure it's loose, pulling on the stitches if you need to. Doing the second wrap on this one. And then we're back to do the magic twist. Remember it? It's just you wrap. You wrap again, always going the same direction. You wrap again, going the same direction. You wrap. You wrap again, going the same direction. You wrap again, going the same direction. That's all there is to it. Those are the two rows. We can take a closer look at this now. That's quite a beautiful stitch. may not be the easiest to see it on, but if you see here and here, this pattern, that keeps repeating just in the different colors. But here's a good place to see it where they're both blue. It's really, really pretty. Really, really pretty stitch. Okay, so that's all you do and you just keep going and um, if you want to cast off on my channel, I have the cast off that matches this cast on and that's also linked in the description. So you have everything you need now to do a project. So you don't have to wait for me to finish the shawl to do this project video. You can go right ahead and you can do it in the round too. It doesn't look that much different in the round. If you look at it here where it's going uh, like this and then kind of coming this way, going like this, coming this way, in the round it tends to all be going one way instead of slightly going two ways. But it looks fairly similar and it looks similar enough that if you do a scarf and a hat, it will look fairly close. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, bye.